exam. Today's video is on FS1 Undisputed with Skip and Shannon Sharp as the media continues its anti-black people, anti-black thought, and anti-black speech crusade through today's proxy Kyrie Irving. Understand, I'm not a defender nor a supporter of Kyrie Irving out here, but I know what he represent and who he represent, and that's black men and women, goddammit. I don't give a fuck about the NBA, Boston, or Brooklyn out here, or any other non-black related sports news people. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. Now, who in the hell is Sinclair Broadcast Company? And what the fuck that got to do with Undisputed, Skip, Shannon, Kyrie Irving? And to be honest, what the fuck that got to do with me? Let me explain. Well, these the motherfuckers out to mislead you, goddammit. These the people who out to control your thoughts. By the way, these the people that also own FS one and they control what's being said by Skip and Shannon. They control the goddamn questions, people. Do you understand that? You see what that screen say? Sinclair completes $9.6 billion purchase of Fox Regional Sports Networks from Demonic Walt Disney. In case y'all forgot, Disney had got the goddamn channels as a part of its $71.3 billion purchase of Rupert Murdoch 21st Century Fox. However, because Disney had it's already on ESPN. Antitrust regulators at the United States Department of Justice ruled that they ass couldn't keep them Fox Sports channels and gave Disney stank ass 90 days after the Fox deal closed to unload them. You are witnessing a rebel network. You probably thinking, hey, Rupert Murdoch was a dirty motherfucker, so him leaving is a good thing, right? That means we can possibly get better coverage, right? Wrong. This is a system, people. This ain't a fucking group of hicks in a country somewhere. This is a goddamn network, a team, if you will. Since we talking about sports around this motherfucker, it bring you to another sports phrase out here. It's called next man up, y'all. And this shit is short and sweet. And y'all know how I can break this shit down for hours. But you don't have to take my word for it. Sinclair reporter admits critical race theory isn't taught in Virginia schools, contradicting months of fear mongering out here. Following Glenn Youngkin's victory in the race for Virginia's governorship, Sinclair Broadcast Group correspondent Christine Frazio or some bullshit acknowledged that critical race theory is not taught in Virginia's public schools, y'all. This comes after Sinclair repeatedly insinuated that critical race theory is widely taught at the K-12 level. My logic is irrefutable. Now do y'all understand what's going on here? This the company that's responsible responsible for sitting up there trying to take real history out of the history books y'all they was trying to take slavery out of the goddamn history books because it hurt white kids feelings y'all that's these people right here they the ones responsible for critical race theory trying to erase your whole history that way they can insert their own goddamn history just like they insert fake news and fake issues daily on their goddamn propagandist networks out here talking about some goddamn critical race theory when the shit out here non-existent y'all the shit is pushed through mainstream media aka state fucking media as real media now do y'all understand how anti-black these people are now y'all understand instead of just thinking it's crazy me probably goddamn it but anyway do y'all understand why they attacking the black outspoken free thinker and free speaker of the NBA. Remember, I don't give a fuck about Kyrie Irving because he could be just playing his part, goddammit, but they attacking, quote unquote, the free thinker, the outspoken black man of the NBA out here, goddammit, and he the one being villainized out here. Do y'all understand now? Now your ass can press like and subscribe out here if you didn't yet. Let's continue. So you're expecting, and I get it. Well, you're making millions. People got to stop this. Because someone makes a lot of money, they feel that they're let that you're a zoo animal. It's like you go to the zoo, I Skip, agree. and you throw <laughs> and you throw things at them and you yell and you do all I those agree. things because, well, I did pay for admission. Yep. You are in there, so you're here for my pleasure. Yep. Kyrie said, nah, I bumped that. No, I'm not. 
I'm here. You want to boo me? Okay. But y'all going over the line with these names. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Shannon 100% facts machine, y'all, but with kid gloves on. Why? Because he not being specific. Tell the audience who the fuck out your pocket watching NBA players, y'all. Tell the audience who feel like since they bought a ticket, they feel like they can racially attack black NBA players, y'all. Tell the fucking audience who thinks since they bought a ticket it's a ticket to misbehave like kids at a goddamn zoo and you're not kids by the way and by the way you're not supposed to yell and throw things at kidnapped cage animals out here and you for damn sure not supposed to feel any type of pleasure from taunting an animal let alone a black nba player but it's a lot of sick racist motherfuckers in this world of course and then shannon Shaw fake ass ended up still being non-specific talking about some damn y'all gotta chill the with the names with hey shannon what are the names do these names include racial slurs like jigaboo porch monkey god damn it jungle bunny or the most common one nigga Yep, but I understand you gonna sit up there and keep them kid gloves on because you gotta get paid. Huh? Now let's go to Skip with his lame man. Bleeps because my pet peeve in all these instances when we have all these controversies, more often than not, the player can't say or won't say what he or what she heard. Said. At least he gave us the measuring stick of the profanity that he alleges that he heard. And I don't doubt that he right. did hear these words during the game. Correction. It's not more often than not, Skip. It's majority of the time black NBA players can't or won't say what was heard. And you know why they can't or won't say what was heard? Because they contractually obligated people and the rest of them just scared as hell of the backlash they gonna receive, goddammit. And I disagree. Kyrie Irving, in my opinion, y'all, he kid gloved that shit. He know damn well them people yelled the most racist insult on the planet earth just like they did back in 2021 when he was complaining about it now let's go to shannon sharp as he puts words in kyrie irving mouth and sits up there and implies that kyrie irving response during the game is equal to the racial mistreatment that the man receives annually from boston fans and nba fans across america watch this no speculation. No. Kyrie is saying, this is what they continuously said to me over and over repeatedly. And I just said, you know what? Since you're going to say it to me, I'm going to say it back to you. I'm going to give you some of the medicine that you think you're giving me. I want to give it back to you and see how you like the taste of it. Yep. The problem Was I right or wrong, goddammit? Did he not just make nigga equivalent to Kyrie Irving pointing his middle finger while walking up and down a goddamn court or making fucking crying gestures while standing on the sideline? Did he not just do that, people? Wow. Talking about he giving them a taste of their own medicine. By the way, Kyrie Irving didn't say none of that bullshit. He just said, people, he did not say he was returning a favor or nothing like that. Goddamn it. So what in the fuck? is Shannon Sharp talking about but let's continue well MLB they expect you to take the higher of the highest roads but sometimes Skip I can't climb that high I ain't got a vehicle that can elevate that, that high at some point in time you know Skip enough is enough my logic is irrefutable. Again, my people, you see that damn road down there, the quote unquote high road, any road that ignores or positively respond to racism is not a road black men and women should travel under any circumstances, people. I don't give a damn about the increase in finances. That road gonna have you just like this millionaire on a goddamn screen saying enough is enough out here enough is enough which means this grown man reached a breaking point with them racist ass fans but shannon sharp elaborate on how racist nba fans feel have the protections because you're like well i paid five hundred dollars i paid a thousand ten thousand dollars for a ticket you feel you feel emboldened you feel you have a protection because of that paper that you allowed to say and do whatever and you're not you should i don't get why grown adults go to the, I, I get sometimes kids you know skip a, a 10 year old or a 12 year old they've heard something repeated i get that but these are normal more times than not 
These are grown men and women that be yelling. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did y'all hear Shannon Sharp just now? He said more often than not, these is grown-ups, dog. Majority of the fans inside of an NBA arena is goddamn adults. Kids do not come to fucking NBA games and sit there in the majority to watch four quarters of basketball unless they're a goddamn diehard fan. Please, this dude said more often than not, more often than not, knowing that kids is a minority in NBA arenas, y'all. It's a shame, bro, how blatant this shit is. And if they grown men and women, why the fuck you keep comparing them to kids? You already talked about how they compare, how they would do if they went to a zoo, like kids and misbehave, goddammit. Why do you keep comparing these grown ass people to motherfucking children, y'all? And keep it real, y'all. This dude said the ticket emboldened them to do racist shit. No, what emboldened them to do racist shit is that the NBA, the fucking NFL or NHL or no other sports organization ever attempted to stop them or silence them, goddammit. That's why they emboldened. Continue. I think the thing is, Skip, you would like to think that Boston would like to like to move away from this kind of from this kind of history. Because more times than not, it's been the old Boston Garden. It's been the Red Sox and what's being heard and what's being said. Yep. You would like to think over the course of time, 50, 60, 70 years, you say, you know what? We're better than that. We're bigger than that. We're going to move past that. But it seems like they embrace that. They think that's a badge of honor for them. When you come here, we get on you so bad, we get people out of their games. Okay? If, they, if that's the way you feel about it, so be it. Wow, that's Shannon Sharp response to racism, y'all. You heard okay, him if, if flat that's out. The you feel if about that's it, the so way you feel about it, so be it. Wow, which means he telling you to turn a goddamn blind eye to racism, y'all, which ultimately ends up in your ass having a black eye from racism. Ain't that a shame? That's why you're not supposed to be out here shucking and jiving, out here talking about you would think that racist motherfuckers would like to move away from racism. Did y'all hear what Shannon Shaw said just now? He said you would like to think that they would like to move away from racism. Racism. You telling me you up here thinking that a racist, a racist, my bad. You up here thinking that a racist will want to move away from racism, huh? Boy, you stupid as hell. Ain't that something, y'all? But let his little clip continue so we can really break him all the way fucking down. Okay, if, that, if that's the way you feel about it, so be it. But I like to think that, you know what? I don't think anymore. Our society, we keep saying, Skip, oh, we're better than that. Are we really? Are we really? What's the matter, boss? We sick? I think at some point in time, Skip, we're going to have to come to the realization this is who we are as a nation. This is who we are as a country. And it's, it's, and it's only getting worse. It's not getting better. As we continue to disrupt the equilibrium of the perceived reality, do you see how hard Shannon Sharp is fighting to protect his perceived reality of what America is as a nation, people? Do you see how hard Shannon Sharp is fighting to protect his perceived reality of what the country of America is, y'all? Do you see how hard this dude is fighting? People like him actually begin to believe that shit is getting worse when it's really not getting worse, y'all. But it's just harder. It's harder for people like him to deny or defend because it's too goddamn visible. But of course, on cue, what does Shannon Sharp bring us back to, y'all? They always like to lull us or attempt to lull us back to sleep. Shannon Sharp on cue brings us back to... The Dr. King speech, the I Have a Dream speech in 1963, Skip. Yep. That's almost 60 years ago. And here we are still dealing with a lot, a lot of the same issues that he spoke that a better day was coming. I, I don't know if we've seen this day on the horizon just yet. Yep. All of which is why I was thinking last night, if Shannon Sharp had been in Kyrie's sneakers yesterday, <laughs> I just think there might have come a point when you would have gone Kyrie. 
I just think you are witnessing the Rebel Network. We still dealing with a lot, huh? Still not specific, huh, Shannon Sharp? We still dealing with a lot. Dog, these people be on that soft shit, y'all. We still dealing with majority, if not everything, since the goddamn 60s. Emmett Till is equivalent to Trayvon Martin. They murder our youth at will. Young black boys and young black girls, goddammit. In the 60s, what did America do? They laid up and violently attacked fucking non-violent marches, y'all. Non-violent marches of fucking oppression, y'all. They attacked them people. Go back and look at the dogs and all of that bullshit. Spitting on people. Fire hoses and all of that bullshit. And that, I don't give a damn if it was NYFD or NOFD. It was all of them fire departments who they praised so much after 9-11, God damn it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But think about what they doing today. They still attack these nonviolent protesters, y'all. Nonviolent protesters who still think that it's feasible to march. Nothing against them, goddammit. But they still attack these people violently. And what else did they do? They added another tactic, y'all. Black villainization through American media outlets. Right or wrong, y'all. After Katrina, looters. After fucking non-violently marching, y'all, looters. Understand understand ain't shit new under the sun y'all no matter how many phone upgrades your ass get no matter how many tv upgrades your ass get from fat tv to flat tv these people control everything from cartoons sports to news but for damn sure they don't control block talk news once again y'all holler at me